Previously on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, just to show what he does. Fever eggs, no box for nipper shell armor. Yeah, well, how about a beak in the face? Oi, me treasure! Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spin, spin, and spin. Uh, confessions of a shopaholic much? It's a jiggy fest. It's a jiggy orgy! I'm telling you, man! They just got all of them all over the place! But first, I'll cut you down to size. Uh, I don't think so. I truly don't. Goodbye. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, push the wrong button. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Silent Senior 09. Last we left off, we were in Treasure Trove Cove, and we we're gonna try and finish off this joint, y'all. So away we go, like great, bright and early spirited birds, you know. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to dodge that. If you fall too high from the ground, I don't know if I told this, told you all this already, but you will take damage. So be mindful and wary of that. So, now that we got the light hole spit taken care of, uh, I think there was something I did forget to grab while I was over by, or at least near, uh, Nipper's shell. And there's a dog outside barking for some reason. One reason or another, I do not know why. Alrighty, I think I want, yeah, it's right over here. I'm not on the platform, but in the water, actually, I want to go. Right here's a good spot. whoosh -a. I gotta be quick, a snacker's gonna come and take a nice, nice bite out of my butt. Mmm, lovely. Stop being a butt biter, you disgusting fiend! Go eat a krill, some krill or something, you freak. Jeez, man. My little area's tender, you don't need to be biting me there. <laughs> man, that dog is really upset outside, whatever his deal is. I'll just double check and make sure. Okay, yeah. Coolness. Alrighty, so with that out of the way, uh, all the sky stuff pretty much about taken care of. Sky Riders, or what is it? What is that thing called? Skylanders? It's that new thing, I guess, that they put in uh, place of Spyro, I guess. Now, I don't know. I, my opinion's kind of like eh, so-so. I mean, I like the idea that they're encouraging, you know, more interactive stuff with the younger guys, but I'll always know it, that dragon is Spyro and not Sky Rider, or whatever it is. That they want to call it, the little new thing they keep pushing. Alrighty, so yeah, make sure you go in the lockup over there off to the right because there are some musical notes in there. And I want to say, yeah, I need to get something. Crap. Dang it. Every time I turn around, I feel like I'm missing something. Excuse me a sec. Yeah, it's right out here. Poor great snackers are going to come after me. No! I do not wish to be fish bait! Leave me alone! Jeez! And I think there's another one like this box that's kind of like floating out here for just no ran no real reason. It has like an extra man above it, but IDK where it is exactly. I think it's over by uh, an area that you need a, like a secret to unlock. And I also think there's one down. Th yeah, there's one down there. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm just that crazy, y'all. I'm gonna get the extra man. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, sorry guys. If you notice my extra man count's a little off, it's because I just now <laughs> started back into this. And I forgot... Crap, I, I, I meant to actually grab enough extra men so we can find out how many extra men we can totally have. And I'll do that in another episode where I can get plenty, but... Yeah, just know that if er every time you save and quit the game, the extra men count does start back over. It's kind of like some of the Mario games and what have you. Ooh, what's this X? Stomp it in the ground. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I'm not really looking for gold, but if you got gold nuggets, some gold nuggets, then you got my attention. So we're going to fly over here where this ladder is. And instead of climbing up that ladder yet, we're actually going to go over on the back side over yonder and fall in the water where Snacker's going to try and take a bite out of us. Get on the box! Jeez, man. Seriously, what is your deal? You can't even handle simple instructions, Banjo-Kazooie? Cry me. 
Alright, so, yeah, if you go on all the way over here, you got another golden jiggy! <laughs> golden nugget! Um, golden nuggets! Golden nuggets! <laughs> oh my gosh, my neighbors probably think I'm freaking nuts. I actually just recently finished uh, doing the last episode of Ocarina of Time about uh, a few hours ago. And I had to do that crazy Ginnador voice where I shout at the top of my lungs. They're probably like, what the hell is the matter with him? Pardon my French, guys, but ugh. I'm being realistic. <laughs> Any sane person probably be, um, yeah, he's got some issues. Okay, yeah, this, this is, we're just gonna talon trot it. I think there's some mumbo tokens inside this lockup. Ugh, what? Jerk. Take a bite at my feet. You can't nibble my feet. Stop it! This isn't Pokemon Heart Gold, where the Pokemon nibble at your feet occasionally if you talk to them. Seriously, there's something wrong with y'all. Alrighty, so... Yeah, let's not... Shh, let's be very quiet. Oh, crap, he heard us. That's Shrapnel, by the way, that little bomb that's got eyes and he's kind of got some grubby teeth. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna blow up on you. I'm gonna blow up on you. Yeah, I'll blow on that. Blow on that. Yeah, take that, take it, take it. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, you're gonna take it. <laughs> Sorry. Any more reasons I can find to be rather suggestive and disgusting? Aha, yeah. uh -huh. he exploded. <laughs> anyway, okay. Right up here, I think this is the last Jinjo. Oh no. Crap. Oh no, I remember. Oh man, I know where I missed the Jinjo. Yeah, you're feeling my pain too, dude. Uh, right on top of the, uh, excuse me, where the lighthouse was, there's like a palm tree you can jump down to to grab them. And I forgot to do that, so I'll hardly have Holly, hardcore Holly, <laughs> probably have to uh, fly up there to get that, which wouldn't be no problem because I got the feathers to do it, so it's not like it's gonna be a big issue. Alright, so the hunt be continues with this uh, treasure chest I run. Really, it's not much of a big deal. I'm just gonna double check and make sure I got all of what I needed. I don't think there's anything in there except for feathers. Yeah. But I'm gonna try and stick to the ground if I can because there's musical notes along the way I need to pick up. And why am I talking in such a monotonous tone, man? Mix it up a little! Jeez! Alrighty. Ooh, that means I only got six more musical notes to get. Sweet! I think there, that, sh that sounds about right. It should be like three by three. Yeah, here we go. Excuse me, three along this pathway? Ah! Oh! oh no, that's not good. I'm running on low on health. Well, hang on a sec, I think I... Do I have some... Yeah, here we go. I was going to say, uh, that's another thing you can keep in mind. When you destroy an enemy in a, in a world at all, um, it actually will not respawn or anything like that. At least in Benjo Kazooie, it doesn't. Unless you leave the world. Excuse me. Ugh, sinuses. But the honeycombs that come off of it will actually s remain here unless you collect it or you leave the world. So, kind of a neat little tip you can provide yourself in case you are running low on energy or you screw up and start really taking lots of hits, you know. Okay. And I think Bottles just pointed out that was our last... Yeah, that was our last note, wasn't it? Let me check. Yeah! Okay, cool. Sweet. That was our last musical note. Coolness! Oh yeah! We're getting away like Glenny Kravitz! Ha! You'll never fight me now! Ooh, what's this giant con inconspicuous island? Hmm, let's check it out! How about I stop it? Yikes! Please, open gently! Open gently? Well, come here, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna... I wanna play, I wanna... Bad. I should not. <laughs> I want to play. Dang it, I should not want to play. <laughs> jiggy, jiggy. <laughs> Golden nuggets. Okay, so, uh, real quick, I'm going to fly up to the very top and get the last Jinjo, thus getting the last Jiggy of this place, so, meet you guys in just a second. I see Jinjo. There he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, better not use a high pitched tone. Ha ha! Ha ha! Got all the golden chickies! <laughs> I love this. 
Last time he didn't do it because we were a termite, but every time you get all the golden jiggies, he actually does like a really dramatic bowing kind of applause sequence sort of thing. Let me see, is it right along here? Yes! I got it! Haha! <laughs> An extra man! Yay! Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Oh, sorry, I'm trying not to burp. Because I'm... I know I'm going... I know I said to myself, don't fight the urge, just let it fly. But I'm like, that's kind of like, I'm, you know, when you're in class, you don't really want to rip a fart. But sometimes you just want to, you really can't help it because you're like, man, I gotta cut the cheese. Let me see if I can let out a quiet one here. But the other party wants to say, no, I don't want to do it. I want to wait till I get out of the classroom so I can let it fly in the restroom, you know? So, yes, upon leaving the Treasure Trove Cove from the giant box that tried to eat us, what am I going up here for? That cannon... Oh, I guess I came to show it. Right over there is where the jiggy is, and there's how we're going to get up to it. Using the cannon over here! It's sticking out. Sticking out of the wall, man. Hey, your fly is open. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Get some more feathers. Cause you definitely find yourself using lots of items in this place, so it's really easy to run out. <clears throat> oh, my voice sounded like I was about to die there. <laughs> Gold nuggets! Golden jiggy nuggets! Yay! Okay, so, let's go ahead and take ourselves, excuse me, back to that one area that actually had that jump spring bad. Bad. Pad. Uh, if I get the camera to... There we go. Cooperate. Climb up this vine, and we're gonna head off to the right. And I don't know if you saw that cave as we kind of hopped up into mid-air, but that's actually where we'd be going, right above that pipe. So. Stay, stay alert! Look alive! Cause we're about to enjoy another funky ride. Oh yeah! Whee! I like how he's cheerful. Ooh, five spots. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. This time I'm actually gonna read the instructions, cause last time I screwed up on that. I'm definitely gonna do that very frequently, guys, because that's just a good time saver. And looky there, Clanker's Cavern. Well, this place, I actually like this place, it's kind of fun. I mean, I love Treasure Trove Cove, and I like this next place, but again, nothing beats World 5. I love World 5. I, I can't wait till we get to it, I'm so excited! Because we're only on World 3! Yeah, I am! I can hardly wait! I can hardly contain myself! I'm so excited! Alrighty. And in here, it's kind of a gruesome looking place, but I like how they added that effect. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Ugh. Running away from you, if you mean. Okay, we're gonna press that switch and have those things come up. This is kind of a neat room. Because you got a few switches you get to push, but I'm just gonna worry about that one for now. Here we go. Across here. Across here, and there we go. Uh, that'll do it for this episode, guys. And the next episode, we're gonna enter Clinker's Cavern. Oh yeah! See you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. And don't let your tails fly up. <laughs>